All right, part three of the Nexus 5 uh, battery test. And you can see I have pretty good brightness on my screen. Let's check the brightness. I've kept it pretty much at this level and it's very comfortable. I can see everything I need to see. And I think this is an appropriate brightness. So let me just give you guys an idea what I've been doing. Um, phone, Stitcher, BBM, um, Hangouts, WhatsApp, YouTube, um, Twitter, Google Plus, but Twitter and Google Plus, after I've used it, I closed it. I was back and forth for a little while with that while listening to audio. So I was multitasking. And I pretty much um, cut it off because I don't want it updating in the background and affecting the battery life. But I did keep those other apps open as I was switching back and forth throughout work. You see I have a, um, you know, stuff going on here. Let's go, actually wrong spot I need to go. Let's go check out that battery life as you can. T-Mobile, been on LTE pretty much the whole night. 12% is left. The settings now. Oh, not the settings. The let's go to the battery. All right. Screen time. 24%. Mo media server. 23%. Voice call. 17. Android OS. Wi-Fi. Stitcher. Um, Android system. Google Play Music. This is what I've been doing for 12 hours 38 minutes so let's just call it 12 hours um, battery life I had the same amount last night um, doing my same routine not looking at anything but I wasn't making a video la um, the night before but last night when I went into work a little bit before 11 p.m. Um, my phone was fully charged and I pretty much started a three-part video series this is the third part of Nexus 5 battery life because everybody has been dogging the battery life and this goes for any phone that you have and I've done this with every phone I have turn down the screen brightness because it really doesn't any no phone needs to be so bright unless you really need it so I keep my brightness at a comfortable uh, pace and it's enough. If I turn it up, look how bright that is. There's no reason for that to have it so bright. It's bright enough. So whether you have a Samsung or HTC, and it actually looks better like this. You know, it really goes up high with the the nits. I believe it's three or four hundred nits. It's very high. So. Keep your phone at a comfortable pace. Keep it very comfortable and you'll have very good battery life. So, pass my back for me for a second. It's time that this Nexus 5 gets some battery life. So now I'm charging it. So let's see. Officially. Let's say 12 hours, 40 minutes of battery life. And I believe this is heavy usage. Now I've seen some other people put up their so-called heavy usage and so forth. And if you see their screen time dominates, which is mine's dom mine is as a head, but most of the night it wasn't dominating. This is actually the third. I've been doing a couple of takes of the video, so the screen on time has been on a lot. But when you're finished with your phone, take off the screen, save some battery. If you do a little changes in your activity you have a lot of battery life so 
please like, subscribe, share, and hey, 349 is a flagship device.